Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Let's take a quick look at our last match highlights. We were playing Lviv, and it's Stoika coming in in the white, a cross in, and Philip Camps at the near post puts it in. Six minute, and we take a 1 0 lead in this one. Later in the first half, 21st minute, a set piece to the back post, and it's Radiot Radinov. And he's in the net and on the score sheet. A little clearance. Yarmolenko picks it up, lays it off to Kamziuk, squared in. Vera drops back into some space that he created, and he puts a header in. 3 0 in the 59th minute. And that is the final tally 15 to 6 on shots, 57 43 on possession. We looked really solid in this one. Taking a look at the competition, uh, we are currently in second, 13 points after five matches, only behind Dynamo Kiev on goal differential, and holding our own. If we look at the rest of the scores, we've been on a nice run since that opening draw with Shakhtar, a 1-0 win over Borskla, Carlos Vera with the goal in that one, 2-1 win over Ruzum Barak, Carabella and Kuczynski with the goals in that one. A 1-0 win over Dnipro. Philip Camps on the score sheet again. In the second leg against Razum Barak, a 2-1 win. Tarashenko and Vera finding the net on that one. Densa, a 1-0 win. Philip Camps again finding the score sheet. Levesky in the first leg, 2-0. And Kuczynski with a penalty, Victor Bidney with a goal, and then Lviv, the 3-0 win that we just saw. We're playing Levski in the second leg of the Euro Cup 2 league path. Uh, the goal in the, in the Euro is to reach the group stage at a minimum. So hopefully we can accomplish that. I don't know how many of these legs, there, these group paths there are, but hopefully we can do that. So we're going to play that today. Let's get to it. Oh, we did have a little bit of transfer news to talk about uh, that came after the Shakhtar game. So that was on 8-4. So Andre Pretrov goes off to Mykolaiv for 145000 Jan Fidrich goes out on loan. Basharov goes out on loan. And Dmitriev we sell for 400000 uh, He was one of our younger defensive players. I just don't think he had a lot to him. Saw it as a chance to cash in. And then on the flip side, Terrace Lyolka comes in from uh, Bruges for $6.5 million. He's a right winger, and that's what made Jan Fidrich expendable. Three-star current, three-and-a-half-star potential. A lot of pace, very solid physicals. Can cross the ball, very good passing. Only has one start, played a 6.8, and... Not exactly sure, uh, but I think, you know, he's going to compete with Carabella out there. Carabella's got a little more upside, but this guy looks like he could be pretty good. So I definitely want him on the bench, and for that money, I might want to have, I might want to start him. And then we also dropped $5 million on Mustafa Mendy, and he is a left back, 17 years old from Senegal. Five-star potential. He is wanted. We've loan listed him. Uh, he's not going to factor in for us now, but he looks like he has some really good potential that I want to help develop and get him into our club in the next year or two, assuming we're still here. <clears throat> but remember, the goal in a journeyman, you want to take care of the club that you're at because that's, that's how it works, right? But anyway, there's the transfer business that we've pulled off. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, it looks like Lyoko's unregistered, and I don't think I can register him until January. So he may not get to play. Hopefully, it does say in the rules that the deadline is the 31st, which is today. So hopefully, post-match, we can register him. It won't let me do it right now because... 
I guess it's too late to register him for the game today. But we're going to go with Vera and Robinson up top. Camps in that number 10. Kuchinski, Komziak, and Karabella in the mid. Stoika, Radinov, Bidney, and Yarmolenko on the back line. And Heidenreich in the goal. Got to remember the additional substitutions here. And we are on a good run, right? <laughs> I mean, it's positive. So we're in the white. Bidney, uh, we really we look really good moving the ball around. Robinson finds a gap. He's all the way up. There it is. Into, oh, my goodness. That was just begging to go into the net. Begging to go into the net. We let that one slip away. All right, Carabella. Nice ball movement. There's a shot with some pace on it. Looks like a goal kick. Yeah, I was thinking maybe an offsides, but. Little flick on header. Oh, big through ball. And it's off the post. So I guess we'll call that even. You know, they gave us one back for the one that we missed earlier because that should have been a sitter. And another, I was thinking it might be a penalty. Thankfully not. All right, let's encourage them. Oh, route one over the top. It's Robinson at the near post, his first goal of the season. And he has taken a while to get on the score sheet, much longer than I was hoping. Big, big goal to get us off the mark. 1-0, and that's 3-0 on aggregate. Got to be happy with that. Ah, uh, Kuczynski let that one get past him. Come on, boys. Mark him up. Mark him up. Oh, there's a nice little tap back to the keeper. Heidenreich controls it. Bidney. Oh, that was poor. And that was even poorer. There's a big through ball. Vera's on it. And he takes it with his right foot. Can't help but think he should have done better there. Pretty disappointed, to be honest. Not a lot of fans at the Levski game. Strange, they're all sitting in the upper deck. That may be our fans, right? The Our fans are in the upper deck, and... Their fans are in the in the in the lower deck. Punched away. There's some good ball movement. Good block. Nice defense there. Vera comes back for it. Turns on his man. He's not a big dribbler. He gets knocked away from him, but we'll take the throw in. Deep in their territory. Uh, let's demand more. I need. I think we need to go get another one, right? 31st minute. The vacant end of the stadium. Oh, there's our away fans right in the corner. There's a good header out to Kaczynski. Vera's making a run inside. Can he pick out a pass? Uh, it gets squared in, but Edimov intercepts it, clears it, but it's coming right back in. Stoika with the overlap. And blocked away in the middle of the box. Too much congestion. There's some space out to the side. We're playing pretty well. 
Well, Camps through to Robinson. Can he get his second? Oh, he dinks it past the keeper. Second goal of the game. And that makes it 2-0, 4-0 on aggregate. And we are liking that. Robinson, a one-man show for us today. That was a great run by him. Kamziak into the box. Was it a save? Yes, it was. We're going to take another corner. Bidney sitting near post. Paskov on the ball. Counter opportunity. Pavlov finds some space on the right. Stoika gets out there. Oh, Camps. I don't know if the clearance hit Camps and he inadvertently or if he did that on purpose. <laughs> Let's praise the team. Uh, what's what's going on here with the red faces? Complacent. All right. I don't think I changed anything. Oh, Binyi just gets done. Heidenreich with a nice save. Sets up another corner. driving corner and Robinson oh Robinson was gonna get there that's got to be a red card no not even a card Wow questionable throw in questionable throw in might need to go look at those I'm pretty sure I have mixed turned on but Maybe I don't. Oh come, oh, come on. They do such a good job getting the ball. Oh, Heidenreich with a brilliant save. Let's jump in and take a look at that. Um, set pieces, throw-ins. Not sure. You know what? I'm just going to cancel that. Uh, I'm going to have to sit down and look at it. Our fans are giving him an earful down there in the corner. Robinson has to come out and close over there. Kuczynski on the ball. He's got Camps making a run. Trying to do too much, possibly. Komziuk, set piece, drives it into the box, no joy. And we let that opportunity get away. They've got runners all over the place, pouring into the attack zone. And there was no foul everybody kind of stopped you know let's not do that play till the whistle blows and then they just kicked it out <laughs> that was interesting that was interesting all right so we've got a 1.77 to a 0 0.74 robinson with a pair of goals 92 percent pass completions let's take a look here Let's drop tempo just a smidge, and let's turn that off. Don't get complacent. Keep focused. They're still complacent. They make a halftime sub. There's our boy Camps. Certainly not the best player, but that's, the, that's one of the guys that I have. Oh, Heidenreich goes Superman. You know, Camps is just one of those guys that I've really that I like from day one and just seems to play better than his rating show. I mean, let's see. He's, I mean, he's playing a 7.2. Oh, there's a through ball and Heidenreich is caught sitting down. That's two, one and four, one on aggregate. All right, I am going to pull off. I'm going to pull off Yarmolenko. 
We're going to bring Tarasenko on for him and his complacent ass. And, of course, he's complacent, too. Vera, not doing too good today. I'm going to bring him on for Vera. And then let's move, let's move Camps up top. I don't know if that did anything. Well, he's not complacent anymore, so that's good. Maybe it was only complacency because he was riding pine. Good outlet ball to Camps. Camps was looking for Robinson. That was a really good pass attempt. Oh, that was a poor finish by Paskov Heidenreich. Luckily made the save. I probably shouldn't have if that would have been put away. Knocked away. Carabella. Flick on header. Robinson is through. And he dinks the keeper again, and he has a hat trick today. Very, very good finish. That was a nice, nice flick on header by Camps. And Robinson took that one step and put it away. Made it count. Very, very nice. Tell you what. Let's see. That's. Oh, wait. This is a cup match, not a league match. Got to remember those things. We don't get the extra stoppage time here. Not stoppage time, but sub opportunities. Because remember, in the league, it's five subs over three stoppages. Carabella gets beaten. Paskov is just gutting the team. Nice drop-off pass and a poor finish by Orachev. Or a good save by Heidenreich. Whichever way we want to call it. <laughs> Camps was looking for a flick on header again, but sent it in a direction that nobody was there. Oh, Paskov just looked really good there. Wow. Might want to scout him, huh? Possibility. Oh, it's in camps. Oh, let's see. Paskov can't even scout him. I don't even know where this is at. Bulgaria. I don't know if that's a playable league or not. Oh, by the way, speaking of playable leagues. Uh, I made the decision to go in and turn on all the other leagues and make them playable. And then I added the Spanish second division as well. So now all, the, all those top leagues are currently playable. I just think we needed to open up those options like we talked about. Uh, it was either last episode or the episode before. All right, so we've made two changes. I'm going to pull off Carabella. Mazarenko. There we go. It's a little, yeah, a couple of minutes early, but not the end of the world. Five one on aggregate. Oh, good save by Heinrich. Tarasenko made a nice defensive play there, but it came right back to Paskov. I really want to scout him to see how good he is. <laughs> yeah, because he's looking good against us. He's looking good against us. Played all the way back to Azanov in their goal. We're going to praise the team. Pachinski. Outside heel kick. That was a nice little pass. That is so frustrating. And I don't know if that's just something in the game or not. Oh, that one goes wide of them. I thought it was going wide, but it hit the woodwork. Oof. 
Oh, I thought we had a counter there and it just went away. It just disappeared into the ether. <laughs> what the hell was that? I thought it curved in. Oh, just un unmarked as he made a run to into the six yard box. Oh my goodness. Just get to the end of the game at this point. Because they are starting to overwhelm us here, it looks like. Wow, what was that? Mazarenko just blew it up into the stands. All right, well, three to two. Not as good a game as it should have been, but still 5-2 on aggregate. Uh, I am going to put hands on hips. You need to be better against a better side. We got lucky there. First leg triumph helps us get through. How did I not talk to him? That's after the game, right? Oh, we're still in the transfer window, so I should have time to register him. I have no idea what that was about. All right, so we win in the fourth qualifying round. We get, uh, I don't know if we get any money for that. Robinson was great. I'm going to do the arm around. I was really impressed with how you led the line. Thank you. Bidney gets suspended for yellows. All right, let's jump into squad here real quick. I just want to see if I can register now. There he is, Lyoka. Good. We got a B minus grade on him, so that's good. And I'm trying to see. Oh, 3.43 million. Cha ching. We reached the group stage. What does that do for our finances? That puts us up to 42. So that's good. So we made back some of the money that we spent in the transfer window. Because remember, we threw a lot of money down uh, this month in, uh, in the transfer window. I guess the Euros are going to come in real quick. Well, the group stage draws not until... Actually, that's tomorrow. So let's take a look at that before we leave. Let me see if I can wrap up transfers. There you go. Bolin, 13 and a half, but the biggest spenders. I think I spent wisely. All right, anybody that we need to register. Remember, everybody on the U21 does not have to be, which is the bulk of the team. I always like to hit this just in case. Nobody got grayed out or anything. Okay, those guys are short term. I think we're good and we have our new guy in the box all right 8.8 .8 million lost this month but again that was that was not anything to worry about <clears throat> because that was expenditures on transfer fees so that's not going to happen every month philip camps third top goal scorer for the month i don't know how many goals he got but Oh, that's goal of the month. Okay, so he finished third. Eh, I don't need to see the third best goal. I want to look at the draw. All right, we're sending him out on loan. Come on. There we go. I'll tell you what, let's look. Uh, so we've got a B grade. Everything looks pretty solid. Disappointed with the finances to loan out Basharov and the deal to sell. The board hasn't liked any deals to sell anybody. So I'm not too worried about that. All right, let's see. We are a number two seed. That's pretty impressive. All right, so let's draw the first teams. And we're in the Ukraine, so we're not going to be in group one where Dnipro is. All right. Young boys. Locomotive Moscow. Okay. Where do we want to end up? I don't I have no idea. 
FC20 in Group F. All right, let's see who gets in there with us. I mean, I know AZ is a pretty good side. To be a third seed, that's pretty solid. <laughs> that is pretty solid. We get Sheriff Tiras Tiraspol from Moldova. I didn't even realize that was a real country. I thought that was a fake country from uh, that movie Red. <laughs> All right. I do claim ignorance on like the really small, and that hasn't been a country forever. I mean, you know, they weren't around pre-World War II for sure, right? I thought that was a fake country. Oh, I'm embarrassed now. Oh, well. And Belge, Belge, Belge. From Denmark maybe uh, Lars Ulrich from Metallica will come out to check that out not sure uh, you know what do you guys think about our group can we get through there I think we yeah I think we can get through there man as, as an FC 20 I think we can get through there let me know what you think in the comments I'm pretty happy with that all right we will be back Again, we're going to do another stretch. I've gone into uh, about seven or eight other YouTubers just to kind of gauge. Again, when I was doing two matches per episode, I felt comfortable with my breakdown. But now that I'm only doing one, I kind of have to think about it a little bit more. So I went into about seven or eight other YouTubers and kind of judged. And looks like they're doing anywhere from an average of, where's my notes? I want to say it was six to eight episodes per season. So that's kind of what I'm going to try to keep on target for. So this was episode two for the season. So I think, what's the goal in the Euro Cup? So we've reached the group stage. So they're happy. They want us in the top half which we're on a good start for. Tell you what, the first legs I'm not going to be too worried about. Now the Ukrainian Cup, I think it'll depend on who we play. We'll come back and look at the Ukrainian Cup highlights. And then we'll play Sheriff Tiraspol on camera. And then what we'll do is we'll look at FC 20 highlights and then Vels will be our match. So we'll we'll see some of the Euro, some of the group stage. And then depending on what happens, then we've got three months left for league action. And you know, we'll come back here, you know, pretty quickly, probably uh Obalon and you know, and then the season finale. Maybe maybe one other one in there. It's kind of you know rough game plan. I don't flesh these out. I tend to do them as you know as the mood strikes me and when I have time to record. So uh, anyway, guys, have a very good New Year. Uh, this will be going up post Christmas. So hope you had a good Christmas holiday if you celebrate or whatever other holiday you celebrate at that time of the year. And I hope you have a very good New Year. And please, please. Hopefully 2021 can be uh, much better than 2020 was. <laughs> this is definitely the year to forget, right? All right, guys, have a good one. Take care. Bye.